All right, guys, I'm Rabia. And I'm Matt. And this is Sound Like on Anderton's TV. Yes, Irish. We're back. We're back in, I was going to say we're back in the video room and we're not. It's been a long time since we've been here doing this. It has. We had a, 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 an illustrious summer of frolics and sunshine. Oh, we've travelled. We have. Pounds have been gained, places have been visited. Yes. And now we're back in store we doing sound like for all you guys. And arrive back in sunny Guildford. Who are we doing? Who are we doing? Today it's going to be Bullet For My Valentine. You've been asking for this for Probably since we started doing sound like donkey's years. Yeah, and there's no reason why we haven't done it before So we may as well just have crack a, on. Have a go. Yeah, Matt Tuck and Michael Padgett. There you go. From Wales. Let's do it. Welsh Right, Matt Tuck. I'm gonna be Matt Tuck. You're gonna be Mikey P. Mm-hmm. And Padge. So I need something V-shaped with EMGs. He's used all sorts. He's and a used... Floyd or not? No Floyd. He's used Jacksons and he's used BC Riches. Well, you're in the right and a place. Bunch of stuff. So I think, yeah, as long as I have EMGs. Where I'm is good. the? Where is all the? Uh, where have they gone? Where have the metal? I think They've the metal section's the metal out tires. this way now. Okay, we need to go and find the metal Okay, guitars. let's go. Let's go. We arrived in the. Uh, so it feels like Anderton's have put all the metal heads in one area because Just, you know you've got to keep them you know, too much away game. from the kids. Yeah. In any so, case, we're looking now for pointy guitars. Pointy guitars with EMGs. I think that's the same for you as well. EM Jizzle. The only V here is a seven string with a Floyd and passive pickup, so that's not gonna work. I mean, in the true spirit of looks like, we'd get a V. Well, Perhaps, we just need a... though, for sound, we're just looking for something with EMGs. It's an EMG loaded guitar. Eels. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Slim pickings. Oh, uh, there you go. EMG LTD, Floyd on it, just there, matte black. Right EMG next to your right hand. LTD, this one? No, behind it. This one? Yeah. It's got a Floyd. Yeah, but it's fine. I can just use a Floyd. However, it must be noted that bullet play in drop C, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so the only problem here is, is gonna that having to restring, restring a Floyd. Floyd to drop C is going to be a nightmare. Yes. Um, so that might be problematic. So after a little bit of research, we can't get any guitars with EMGs in today. There aren't many around in Anderson's music at the moment. Seems like the love for EMGs or active pickups is a little bit low right now. It is. So what, we're gonna, what we've decided to do is rather than take a diversion to another time when there might be EMGs, is try and achieve the sound anyway. With passive pickups. With passive pickups. Because there's a it. lot of them around. So let's we'll go still on. go to the metal section. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Budget wise, Anywhere between five and seven fifty, isn't it really? I think seven fifty is probably a bit high because mm. we have. If you want the the drive pedal plus an amp, okay. your amp's going to be five hundred. Pedals probably two fifty. Well, there you go. Look, LTD Seymour Duncan six four four nine hardtail. Boom. Boom. That's one. And LTD hardtail six strings. <laughs> Seymour Duncan's. <laughs> I'll just say this single coils. All right, I need humbuckers. Uh, to be honest, like that's good. That's, that's not a bad price. What about Ibanez? You could go eight ninety and get a bare knuckle loaded hardtail. That's probably too expensive, honestly. Okay, somewhere down the middle. You know, what about this? I found an Ibanez. Six nineteen. Double humbuckers with Damasio pickups. Six string. Boom. I think that's probably a good shout. I feel like we've used this on something before. I feel like I've seen these before as well. Maybe what? not this specific oh. one. That. Oh, mate, I'm using that. No. So after much consideration, a lot of deliberation, I've made the hard decision to change my guitar from the LTD to this Charvel. And I'm sticking with my Ibanez. These are great, look at that. That's a great slab of wood. It is, for, 650, for £631. Pounds. And what am I on? I'm on £619. So we've got similar budgets and similar rigs to achieve. So and it looks similar. Yeah. Let's go and try and find some more stuff. Amplifier-wise, we haven't really travelled very far, have we? We haven't. <laughs> we went from there to here. Yeah. But um, I think I'm looking for PV6505s. Yeah, well, they use 5150s, don't and they? 5150. And they've used... Um, 
I think you're the one, the one campers now, but I think your guy used messes. Basically, American high gain. That's exactly six what I'm thinking. 6L6 powered high gain tones. That is it. So, what I'm thinking is maybe we get a good pedal platform, like a Black Star. I'm, yeah, I was about to say, I'm tempted to go Black Star, and then I With would probably use... a Flux Drive or something, or... A throttle Box. Throttle Box, yeah. And the 5150 Overdrive. Well, there you go. That might, that might On work. a budget, it's going to work. Because we also, remember, £1,500. <clears throat> if we can afford it, maybe Tube Screamers too. Yes, good shout. Right, so we've been looking at amplifiers. And I think, as we said before, the concept is get a good amp. I'm pointing at one. That is great for pedals. And, and then we, get, we have a bit more budget for pedals. It's going to be a squeeze though. My guitar is about 620. And this, is, this Black Star is 749. It's a Stage 60, which is probably a little bit overpowered for what we need. We could probably get away with something that's the HD40 maybe, if we have some in stock. But either way, I think, the, I think beer's on the same wavelength. We get some decent pedal platforms and we should be good to go. So we are decided, we are decided. Yeah, so basically we could only get one of the Black Stars without having to wait nearly an hour to get another one from the warehouse. So I thought, hang on a minute, there are some delays and cleans and all sorts of stuff like that on the records, which we need to have budget for. With my guitar and my amp, it wasn't gonna happen. Also, the throttle box, this is 185. This is my Mesotone. So I'm gonna go, much to all your displeasure, Boss Katana 212, because it's a beast. The Katana. And also, it has all the effects in it as well. And for me, this is the best sounding one of the bunch, so I'm quite excited about that. And I've gone for the, well, I've already had my guitar and amp, and adding the 5150 OD, which is about 183 quid. So I am just about 30 quid over budget. And you don't have any reverb or delay? I don't, oh, you've got, got reverb, but I don't have any delay. So we'll see how the sections go, and maybe I'll throw in like a Tone City, just cheekily. Okay, um, let's go see what it sounds like. Let's have a go. Haven't been here in a while, have we, Matt? No, it's been, it's nice to sit in these these seats. It they're, is. They're, they're molded to someone else's butt. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but totally. we're, get, we're getting there. Either way, we thought we'd try and sound like Bullet from a Valentine today. We did indeed. So Matt Tuck and Michael Padgett. I'm Padge. And I'm Matt. Yes, you are indeed. You know, it couldn't be any other way. It couldn't be. Fairly simple rigs, I'd say. Fairly simple, yeah. Lots of guitars into amps and then... I don't even think you're using pedals anymore. No, so so originally I had my amp and my guitar and the Mesa throttle box. Turns out it made it sound a lot worse. It so did I just, sound. I just got it out of the really rig bad. completely. That's not to say it was the pedal that sounded made it sound worse. It's just the combo with the amp and the pedal just didn't sound anything like Bullet from Valentine. No, it didn't. So I just went straight into the amp. Whereas you used the pedal, didn't you? I did. I used the EVH 5150 Overdrive straight into the Black Star on the clean channel. Um, and it sounds really good. It sounds really good. I'll leave it to, for you to judge how close to Bullet From My Valentine it sounds. But yeah, either way, great high gain tones. Without further ado, I'll show you my rig and move on to Matt's. So, this was a very last minute decision. It was a bit of a U-turn. But it's really, so we wanted EMGs. We did. We couldn't get EMGs, um, which would have been quite a big part of the sound. There's a very specific type of compression that EMGs have that sounds very good for metal like this. Mm. In any case, couldn't get it, so I'm using this Charvel. It's a Mexican made, isn't it? It is. Natural finish, um, hard tail, gold hardware, white Seymour Duncans. Um, to be honest, this thing actually is really good for money. Six hundred and thirty-one pounds. Looks, looks great as well. Charvel locking tuners on there. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I had no problems with it. Mm. Put eleven to fifty fours on it um, for, for drop C. Drop C. Yeah. And then I went straight into the Katana two twelve. 
It's probably my favorite one of the lot because it just sounds really good. Two 12 inch speakers pumping it out. In any case, this is what I had. I was on the lead channel, gain pretty high up. Drop C, this is all I did. So that's the guitar straight into the amp. Just yes. a high gain sound on the lead channel and I was running the mids up and down depending on the section. What I really like about this rig is it doesn't come on randomly, just when you're not expecting it. <laughs> yeah, that's my you'll thing. find out about that at the end of the video. <laughs> And then for the intro of Tears Don't Fall, it was rolling off the gain channel. And then I added the reverb and delay and the effects section the of the amp because yeah. that's the great thing really, about the guitar. Really, really handy. So you can do all the, uh, like a... And I also had the tap tempo handy, so that's quite... Um, quarter note tap tempo thing. That's a good feature. Uh, in any case, that's literally all I used to Easy. get my sound. I think mine is probably even simpler. This Ibanez RG is a beautiful looking specimen fitted with um, double humbuckers, Damasios. Um, I couldn't also get um, active pickups as we said in the store. Um, so this is kind of attempting to fill those shoes um, straight into the 5150 overdrive here by MXR and then into my Black Star Stage, HD Stage 60. Which has Tourette's. <laughs> Which is a little intermittent, I'd say. <laughs> it's, it likes to make noise, even when it's not supposed to. We've used these before. We normally go for the HD, like the Club 40, um, but they weren't available today. So in the links in the description, you can see all the gear. Obviously, you can go for a lower wattage if you think it's more your bag. Um, but yeah, that sounded a little bit like this. <laughs> Um, so that's how that sounds. So yeah, huge, huge ballsy American sound. And I think hopefully it got us in that territory. I know they're really Metallica inspired. Mm. Um, so yeah, I hope it's got us close. Yeah, it kind of, I don't know, like modern metal tends to lean away from thrash tones, which are normally inherently scooped mids kind of sounds. Yeah. Whereas Bullet are kind of, I guess from my understanding, listening to some of their songs is kind of doing the thrash. Feels thing a bit more like a classic metal thing yeah, rather than the really modern you know, gated type. Yeah, even their new stuff mm. that we had to listen to is still quite a, a scooped metal tone. Yeah, and I think now they, they're using Kempers, but they profiled the original 5150 they used for their first album, I think. Fair play. Um, so, they, yeah, they rely on that sound, which obviously sounds massive as well. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, that is our attempt at sounding like Bullet For My Valentine for under £1,500. There you go, so let us know what you think and how you think we did. Um, all the gear is in the description box below. And that leaves us with one last thing to say, which is I've been Rabir. And I've been Matt. And this has been Sounds Like on Anderton's TV.
V. Yes, it has. See you later. Fairly simple rigs, I'd say. It's it's a lot of. <laughs> the f <laughs> was that? Not me. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Did that do it on its own? Yes. I didn't move. What's wrong with you? Yeah, something else to point out is we, for one of the intros, we did like a bit of an amateur. Oh, what is wrong with that thing? That's you. It's you, you It's not me, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. If only, if only you could see his little lying face. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What the hell was that, man? It's this amp. There must be a loose connection. That was <laughs> scary. <laughs> I can't do anything with that. That's not me. Put it on standby. It's on standby. It's on standby. <laughs> it's on standby. <laughs> it's but just like, you know. out of nowhere, it goes, ah! <laughs> Maybe it really hates bullying around it. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, but... <laughs> It's you, you <laughs> 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 That is you! It's not me! I just... Did you, did you hear the distortion? <laughs> 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 it sounds like a serial killer! Oh Man, my god. I'm literally gonna... Have, tonight. I'm gonna have nightmares, I can't sleep. So I think mine's even simpler. With this... My Arbonaz. Arbonaz. My Arbonaz. My Arbonaz. My Arbonaz. Open arms. My Open arms. <laughs> <gasps> huge, huge sound. And actually, the ISF function, the infinite shape. Um, it's blowing up, man. I think, I think it's killed it. It's blown up. Yeah, that is blown up. I that's think it. I, that was a